write a C++ program to generate all the prime numbers between 1 and n where the value of n to be taken from the user. In this program, if we enter the value of n as 10, it has to display all the prime numbers starting from 1 up to 10. So all the prime numbers which are there in between the number 1 to 10 has to be displayed. We write the logic of this program inside the main method. An integer variable named n is declared. It is used to represent the last limit of the prime number we have to display till. By using cn, we accept the value of n. After that, by using an if statement, we check whether n we entered is less than 2. So we can say that it's an invalid entry because less than 2, there is no prime number defined. And we return minus 1 to stop the execution of the main method. In case the user entered number is greater than or equals to, it goes to the remaining part of the program. So there we write the logic to display all the prime numbers starting from 2 till the number we entered. For that we are using a for loop. In the for loop we have used the index variable as x. x will take first value as 2 and it goes up to n minus 1. For example, if you enter a number as 10, it goes up to 9. So it displays all the prime number from beginning till n minus 1. So after taking each value of x, the x will be increased by 1 by 1. So for example, if the first value of x is 2, the next value of x will be 3, next will be 4, so each number it will take till n minus 1. So inside the for loop, we have to write the logic to check whether x is a prime or not. For that, we are using a flag variable, which is initialized as 0. And after that, we are writing a for loop to check whether the number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, up to half of the number x. By using if statement, we check whether x is divisible by i, where i takes the value 2, 3, up to half of the number x. If it is divisible, we make the flag as 1 and stop the for loop, stop the division process. So after completion of the inner for loop, the value of the flag will be either 0 or 1. If it is 1, then that means the number got divisible, so it's not a prime number. So we have to display only the prime number, so we check whether the flag is still 0. If flag is still 0, we display the value of x, which is the current number, as a prime number. The loop will get repeated, the outer for loop will get repeated till n minus 1. So each time x will take a new number, new incremental value. And we check whether x is a prime or not inside the inner for loop. So if x is a prime, we display the value of x. Execute and see the program output. Thank you for watching this tutorial.